and a few other things besides in the next half an hour. But right now we're going to catch up with all the latest sports news. Here's Louisa again. Hi, afternoon. Hi, Jane. Afternoon. Yes, Wimbledon has become the first major tennis tournament to ban Russian and Belarusian players due to the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Now, it means that men's world number two and US Open champion Daniil Medvedev and the women's world number four, Irina Sabalenka, will be among those to miss the championship. Russian and Belarusian athletes have been allowed to play in ATP, WTA and ITF events under a neutral flag and with no album played, anthem played. The decision by the All England Club is expected to be confirmed this afternoon. They've obviously come to the conclusion that uh, they feel that what is happening in Ukraine at the moment is so horrific that they are not willing to consider the possibility perhaps of a Russian or a Belarusian player lifting the trophy on centre court. We'll need to wait for their decision. But as I say, it is very different to what other people have said. I spoke to the head of the WTA Tour, Steve Simon, in California last month, and he says players should not pay for the decisions of an authoritarian leadership. He said we've never banned players in this way in our history, and he thought it was very, very unlikely that they would do so in future. Now, Ukrainian tennis players, including world number 20, Alina Svitolina, has since uh, tweeted saying that tennis authorities need to take a stand against Russian and Belarusian athletes. Now, in a statement also posted by other Ukrainian tennis figures, she says, if applicable, we demand to exclude and ban Russian and Belarusian athletes from competing in any international event as Wimbledon has already done. There comes a time when silence is betrayal, and that time is now. Manchester United were humiliated, their manager Ralph Rangnick says, after Liverpool thrashed them 4-0 and moved to the top of the Premier League table. Now today, Chief Scout Jim Lawler and Head of Global Scouting Marcel Bout have left the club. It comes as former players have been scathing of the current team. Roy Keane said that they have no soul and Paul Scholes says the club is unrecognisable. Former United goalkeeper Peter Schmeichel told the BBC that the problem at the club is more than just the players. This is not about the players only. It's not. It's a, it's a whole play. It's that the whole play is... It's, it's not happening at Manchester United, you know, at every level. And, and this is what needs to be sorted out in the next coming years. So a, a new structure at the club and, and, you know, there'll be a lot of new people there who, who it, it's an absolute must, they understand what this football club is. So Liverpool top of the Premier League for today at least because Manchester City can retake top spot if they beat Brighton tonight. Manager Pep Guardiola says that they will fight for the title until the last game. We are going to play every game a final to give opportunity to play another one, another one until the end. We are going to, to challenge and until the end we are going to fight. That's for sure until the end. We'll try to play good and get results. The World Snooker Championship continues this morning at the Crucible in Sheffield. The four times champion John Higgins went into this morning's session trailing Thailand's Tepchaya Nu, but has pulled it back. It is now six frames all. And on the other table, Kyron Wilson is trailing to China's Ding Junhui, three frames to one. The World Snooker Championship continues then at the uh, Crucible. The four times champion John Higgins went into this morning session trailing, um, but he managed to turn it around, as I said, and won the game 10 John frames Higgins. to seven. And on the other table, there is a battle going on. Two one time finalists, Kyron Wilson, he's trailing to China's Ding John Hoi by five frames to four. OK, plenty more over on uh, the website. And uh, former world number one Maria Sharapova has announced that she is pregnant. The five-time Grand Slam winner announced the news on Instagram on her 35th birthday. She retired from tennis in 2020. And later that year, she got engaged to British businessman Alexander Gilt. There you are. You're all up to date. That is all the sport for now. I'll see you in an hour's time. See you then, Louisa. Thank you very much. Thank you.